Yes, guys, we're back again. And we got a new... Oops. <laughs> Look at that. We're back again and we got a new build. It's this BMW 2 Series. Let's go. That's right guys, we've got another little 2 Series and as you can see, the damage is quite bad. It looks a little bit like the one that I'd done in a previous episode. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a card up above. But I'm eager to get stuck into this one because when I bought that last one, we got it at a reasonable price. We were able to flip it, sell it on, and the resale value on these little babies really, really good. And this one hopefully should be the same. This one, you can pick up a car like this for around six to seven grand, and this one falls into that category. So let me show you around the new build. Alright guys, so we're going to do this one a little bit different. I normally start from the damage, but we're going to make our way from the back and go towards the damage because I want to show you this. So someone has gone ahead and added just these tiny little mods that really sets off this car quite like that. Gloss black, that's looking all good. But if I come down here, look at those exhaust pipes. I'm wondering if it's just the tips or is it a complete exhaust? Um, there's only one way to find out. Later on in this episode, I'll be giving it a start and we'll be checking it out. But have a look at that rear diffuser. Rear diffuser down there is looking really, really good. I really like that. The rear of the car, on another positive note, there's no damage here. It's got some grub and dirt and stuff, but there's no damage and I'm happy about that. Have a look at this rear quarter. You've got some scratches here. Moving on, as you can see, the paintwork is in excellent condition. And we're moving on to this driver's side door. There's no damage here. Driver's side mirror, no damage. And the driver's side wing, funny enough, there's no damage to the main portions of the wing. Have a look at all of that but it's just got a tiny little ding right down there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but obviously that's because this headlight got broken and it pushed it up, but we should be able to straighten that. Now, that's where the positives end. <laughs> actually, actually, there's one more positive. Have a look at this, no airbag damage. So yeah, that's still a positive. But as I was saying, that's where the positives end because have a look at here. I have worked on three of these cars now and it follows the same pattern. Anytime there's impact to the front reinforcement bar, it pushes this area back and these two are the first to crumple. So these top chassis arms are designed to be crumple zones and they crumple really, really easy. And as you can see, this is meant to be kind of like here and it's all the way back. Now you can see everything basically got, it got a frontal impact and everything has been squashed. Have a look at the air box with the filter in there. You can see everything has been squashed like so. If I come up to the top of the bonnet, bonnet is completely gone. We have to get a new bonnet on that. Um, this headlight is <laughs> literally falling to pieces. Have a look at this front reinforcement bar. Front reinforcement bar is completely gone. Um, moving around. I was trying to look in here to see if I can spot anything else down there, but I can't. So this is the engine cover. This was popped off in the accident. The engine looks good. I'm told it's running and driving, but we need to test to see. I like to see it for myself. This, on the other hand, this light is all good. There's no damage here whatsoever. All the tabs are intact and it actually works, I'm told. Um, so coming down here, there's no damage to this area. Like I showed you, it's all localized over there. And that's the thing, guys. When you're working on salvage cars, I always, always say this stick to localized damage. You don't want to get a car that's damaged here, there and everywhere. Move around to this, it's a bit tight here, but as you can see, you get the general gist. No damage on the entire passenger side. No damage to the roof, everything's all good there. Um, it's got privacy glass and the car's just in good condition, it's good nick. Back to the interior, like I told you, there was no airbag damage, but I just want to show you how clean everything is on the interior. Look at that lever. I've seen this one before and because it's missing the front bumper, I only just realised if you see this button here, that means that it's got front parking sensors also. So we need to make sure we get a front bumper that's got the PDC holes. In here, no goodies in there, nothing in there. Let's see what's hiding in here, nothing. And that's it for the interior. I'm gonna grab the key and I'm gonna give it some power. Um, looking inside, have a look at those rads, completely gone. This is gonna be your AC rad, which is sandwiched together with your water rad. And down at the bottom is the intercooler down there. Um, but as you can see, we'll just get a complete rad pack. Now you can see the air box is missing, so we need to get an air box also. All 
I can hear noise. So as soon as we got power, the windows moved. There we go, because it's the coupe. They adjust when you open and close the door. Have we got ignition? What is going on? That is strange. I think it's come. That is so random. Okay, so now we have, let me just try start it. There we go. Switch that off. Switch this off. Car's got 54K on the clock. I'm not going to keep it running for too long. It has got coolant in the system, however, it seems to be leaking. But I want to get into the back. See what's lurking in here. We've got nothing in there. See down below. See, that's interesting. Someone's removed the negative from the battery. That is very, very interesting. I wonder why that was. Anyway, make sure everything is working. Now with a frontal impact, I just like to see how much is working and not working. So we've got power steering, so there's no impact to the power steering pump. Um, it's an electric pump on these ones. Um, I just saw the fans are working all good there. Radio. Yep, radio's all good. Try the windows. Yep, and two. Yep, that's all good. I'll leave those down, get some air. It stinks in here all the time when you get these cars that's been set for ages they just stink so you can hear you can hear the i don't know if you can hear that on the camera but it's blowing a lot of air that's because the intercooler is gone so it sounds like it's got a dump valve anyway let's go up front and see what we can see now listen to that you can hear the turbo but on a positive the engine sounds good the engine doesn't sound too bad. Now another thing that I've noticed is, even though this light is destroyed, it seems like the day running lights are working. Have a look at that. So that means that the modules are working. So these lights have got one, two, three, and inside there, that's a fourth module. So it means that I should be able to salvage these modules and refit them to the replacement headlight without the need for coding. So that's a positive sign. Um, I'm happy with what I've seen so far. Let's take this off. Actually, let me switch this off so you can hear me. All right, you guys, so I'm happy with everything that I've seen so far. Let me know what you think of the damage. Let me know what you think of the car. I've given you a walk around. I've showed you the damage, but I need to investigate more. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is just grab some tools, tuck into this front end. So, let go.
All right, you guys, so have a look. We got rid of all of the broken, damaged parts. So complete rad pack is gone. You know what's broken on that. That's the complete front slam panel. Everything off that is gone, broken. Coming over here, the bottom chassis leg right here is all good. That's straight as on that side, straight as on that side. And as you know, the top is bent right there. Have a look at this side. There's no damage on that side. As you can see, there's a ton of coolant that was coming out and there's still lots of coolant in the reservoir right there. So that's a good sign. Now have a look, everything's pushed back right here and it's pushed back against the engine. And what I've noticed is that if you look at the top, the gap between the engine and the, the actual body of the car looks really, really close. So I need to investigate further. I'm suspecting maybe the engine has been pushed back and if that has happened, then boy, that's gonna be a big problem. Um, but you never know with these things until you dig a bit further. And I think that we've dug far enough for today. I went ahead, took some pictures. I made a preliminary um, parts list. So I kind of know the main things that I need, but I'm a bit worried about that engine. It is running, so that's a good sign. However, I'm not happy with the way it's situated back there. And we're gonna be investigating that further in the next episode. Um, as we know, that headlight is gone. This is the passenger headlight, all good no issues with that one. Um, in the next episode, we're gonna get the car in the garage and we can continue with everything. So that has been an introduction to the build, a quick walk around, and we did some investigating on the damaged parts. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And this is where we can start to wrap up. All right, so guys, so I spent a bit of time tidying up everything, making sure that everything's nice and clean. Speaking of nice and clean, we went ahead and we stripped down the entire front end. And if you step back and you actually look at this car, take a look. I always say this, once you take away all the damaged bits, you get a better view of everything that's wrong. And tell me what you think of what you can see. I'm still very happy, still very confident that we can turn this around in no time. Still a little bit sketchy about the engine, so, if you want to see how we get on, tune in for episode two. We're going to be dropping that very, very soon. But as you can see, it's getting quite late now. It's starting to get a bit dark, so I want to go home. Oh, tired. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And this is where I'm going to head off. So like I always say, keep it moving, and I'll see you in the next one. All of my fans are not a supporting style. We're nothing but look at us now. Whoever's supporting, I'm making you proud. Whoever's supporting, I'm making you proud. Salvage Nation, look at the squad. We're up in the front, like look at the car. Look at the car. Salvage Nation.